Oh, hey, hello everyone. Welcome to Throttle Power. And uh, in this episode, I'm going to show you how I turn this into an anti gravity spaceship. You won't want to miss it. Wasn't really doing that. Okay, let's get started on this thing. Now, well, to start off, you got to remove all the labels and then I started sanding the whole entire thing get it roughed up so some primer paint can stick to it and these little gizmos they come on the top of your soap dispenser bottles that you would have at the sink they're pretty cool and I took them and I'm going to use them for little side pods or air intakes for the engine in the back there I am putting one on now. There, there, there's one on there. Um, this little cup here, it's a communion cup. And I'm going to use that for a thruster. And then I get a piece, which is right there, a toothpaste cap, which is a, a pretty neat item. And it's, that's going to look like a pretty cool thruster once it's all together. I'm working on getting it fitted in. I'm going to have to cut it down because it's a little small. And I'm getting ready to cut it. And getting ready to glue the toothpaste cap in. And that looks like a pretty cool little thruster. Not too bad for some parts around the house. And here I'm making little rivets. And I like sometimes making my own. You can get whatever sizes you want. and You don't have to go to the store and go purchase any and you can get as many as you want by just clipping them out and here I am putting some rivets on a little bolt and rivet detail add a lot to a uh, scratch built model now, hey folks do me do me a favor and uh, subscribe and hit that like button and don't forget in the comments below to uh, comment what you think about this video when it's over with and Oh, here I am adding some more detail to the little side pods or whatever you want to call them. And here in a moment I'm going to add some half round, 60 thousandths half round on that side pod too because I kind of figured it dress it up a little bit. It looks a little plain. There's a piece I added on the side, just a piece of sheet plastic. Put some rivet detail on that. And what we got going on? Oh, this little piece is pretty cool. Of course, it's a timing chain cover off an engine. I thought it looked pretty neat. So half the fun of doing these things is going through your parts box and pulling stuff out. And going, hey, what will this work? Will that work? I had a whole pile of stuff I didn't use. So that just means a, another future project of something like this. They're, they're fun to do. And I'm going to add some more bolt detail next to that thing. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that little cover in the front but it's got some holes in it so we're gonna have to run some wires or something from it or to it there's that half round I was telling you about I think that dressed up that side pod quite a bit get her cut the length there gotta gotta sand it rough up the bottom help stick to the glue a little bit And the, the tan parts you'll see, I like right there, those come from a, a tank, a tank model. Uh, that's a roller wheel. I had put a couple of them in the back to dress up the back engine area. And there's a piece of strip plastic. I just found something wide enough to be able to drill some holes in so I can run some tubing or, or wiring. Not sure where this is really going yet. I'm just kind of going off the, the fly or whatever looks good or feels good at the moment. And there's some more drilling some more holes more tank parts up on the top left I have no idea what they even go to but they might look pretty cool on here and we'll glue these things on up oh, now we're going to use some uh, tubing which bends pretty nice it's three three thirty second round tubing and it bends and holds its shape and it's going to go in these little holes I drilled so it's going to look like a bunch of uh, outside tubing on this little spaceship which should dress it up we'll run a few of those 
it's really easy to bend this stuff and the best way to bend it is mark where you want to bend it like I just did yep point it to it and stick a uh, I stuck a stick in there like a chopstick and bend it around that chopstick and it bends it nice and neat gives it like a mandrel bend and it doesn't kink it or anything and snip it to length and glue her in. Now here's another bend. Make the little mandrel bend. There it is. Nice bend. Glue it. Stick it in the hole. Come around. I think we're going to bend it one more time here. Mark it. And we should stick that chopstick by that black mark. There we go. Another bend, and it's going to work out nice. I kept this here part a little bit long so you could see how uh, you can bend this stuff really easy, make a nice little mandrel bend. You never know when you want to use some tubing. And granted, it is only you know like a, a 332nd or something, but um, it can add a lot of detail to a lot of things. And here we are. Oh, I'm cutting a rod for the top of the ship. The top looked a little boring. So we're trying to come up with something to fancy up the top. Yep, that's going to go over, sit right on the top. And we should add some other stuff here, too. There we go. We'll add that piece there. And probably put a little bolt detail on that guy. Never get enough bolt detail. I don't know how many bolts I used on this. I probably should have used, you always want to use more when you get done, but like they say, less is best. Getting that glued on. There's the bolt detail. There we go. This has been a fun project. This, this thing was a blast. Another neat thing about this, it's like a, a slump, slump buster project and you hear a lot of guys saying oh, I don't feel like building anything at the moment and there was something fun to build on this was uh, that little white box right there that was all scratch built just just sheet plastic glued together here's some stills of, uh, oh, I'm drilling in the front now and the reason I was doing that is you, there's the two rods sticking out those are going to pin onto the headlights I didn't trust the headlights being glued onto the front so I pinned them there's the headlights right there on the bottom left and right. And those are from writing pens. Um, another piece I added on, that tan piece. Oh, the straw. Uh, these straws are fun. I use those flexible straws right there. They got that flex little thing on it. That's coming up here in a moment. And a few more, a few more still picks. There's some wiring I added. Just twisted some wiring and ran it to my holes. Add a little bit more half round to the front there and some more bolt detail. A couple of nice pictures here. And here's the uh, work with the straws. Just kind of playing around. Um, added, ended up adding two straws per side. Got them all cut to size. And to attach them, I taped them with just regular uh, um, brown tape right there. And I went ahead and added some little rivet detail on that. And there's what I painted it with, is that Krylon primer. And then the can to the left, yep, that's hairspray. And after I painted it with the uh, primer, I shot the hairspray, put a couple cups of hairspray on it. And then I painted the whole entire thing, the Tamiya XF-59 Desert Yellow. And then after that was done, I did some uh, chipping on it to expose some of the primer underneath. And now I'm going around and a few of the spots were a little bit too glossy for me. So I was just kind of taking some of the uh, matte finish and hitting a few spots and taking care of the uh, gloss there especially on the wiring because the wiring didn't get painted and I didn't want to spray bomb the whole entire thing of flat because I had added two headlights in the very front and I didn't want to mask that and of course that's what we started with 
Yep, the old deodorant bottle or can. And here's a few stills of uh, outside. Um, again, uh, hope you liked the video. Hit like if you did, and uh, hope you subscribe because you don't want to miss out because we got a lot of neat things coming every single Friday afternoon. A lot of cool videos uh, in the works. So enjoy the rest of the slideshow. Thanks for watching.